All right, let's talk about how you can assign letter grades in Excel. Now, honestly, it can just get so incredibly time consuming to have to sit here to enter in every single grade individually. So instead of having to do that, what you can do is create a scored gradebook or rubric, right? Kind of like this. Now, one thing to note when you're creating something like this, I mean, it's super easy to make. You just need these values, right? You just need to know the range and then the grade associated with that range. Now, keep in mind when you're creating this, you want to start from the lowest grade to the highest grade. It's going to help with the formula that's automatically placed the grade in this in these cells. So what we'll do is we'll just insert a column in between these two. And that's this is going to be our helper column. You can hide this later on or do what you want with it, but you're going to need a helper column. And in this column, what you want to do is you're going to want to enter the lowest value within the range you specified. So in this case, it'd be zero or 55. And then once you enter in two, it's going to understand the pattern that you're following. And then you can flash fill so you don't have to type in all of them. And the keyboard shortcut to do that is if on your keyboard you hit Control E, that should flash fill with the remaining values that you're looking to input in this helper column. So now that we have that, the rest is pretty straightforward. We're just going to be using an equals VLOOKUP function. So hit tab to select that. Our lookup value in this case is going to be the score. And then our table array is going to be this range here. The score that we just inputted in our helper column and then our grade. And then if we hit FN F4, that's going to lock that cell range. And if that keyboard function, if that keyboard shortcut did not work on your computer, you can simply add dollar signs here. And then we'll hit comma and the column index, which is asking us what we want to be displayed once it finds that number. We want it to display the second column, so we'll just say two. Then we can hit enter. And then that's going to calculate that a, a score of 98% is going to be an A, which follows our rubric. Then just double click this green square in the bottom corner here. Then that formula will update for the remaining cells. Um, the formatting will, will be a little wonky, but we can, we can fix that. And there you have it. And then, like I said, you could hide this column and the formula is still going to work appropriately. So that is the quick and easy way to assign a letter grade based on a certain score. All you need is to have a rubric, a helper column, and this formula. If you have any questions or if for some reason it's not working for you, leave a comment. I'll try my best to address it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.